Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Hello and welcome to John on the Bike I've been contacted by a company called Outdoor Master and they have sent me a helmet to try out uh, now this is a first for me, it's the first time I've had a helmet to review. Obviously I've bought many helmets in the past, but I've never actually been sent one to try out to review. Uh, this is it in plastic bag still, but actually, I mean obviously it came in a box and I've took out the box. Uh, but just to save time, I've took out the box already. But first of all, speaking of bags, look at that. How cool is that? Actually it comes in its own bag. I think that's brilliant. I've never had a helmet in a bag before. <laughs> How push is that? So yeah, Outdoor Master. Um, these come in um, 10 different colours and this one is mint green I've chosen. Because um, I think they look pretty cool. Because they did say what colour would you like to review. And of course, you know me, I like my bright colours. So this one, obviously it's in bull wrap. Take out the bull wrap. And there we go. Look at that. That's smart or what? Very smart. But you do get um, a selection of pads that you can put inside the helmet as well, which is very, very good. Um, so you can obviously get the helmet to fit your head best way possible. Um, and it does have quite a lot of ventilation slots in this as well, which is nice, as you can see along the top there. And within the ventilation slots, and if you can see on the camera there, but there's also a mesh as well. So keep the bugs out, because I don't know about you, but I get so many bugs. Um, hit me in, in my head uh, when I'm on my bike because my helmet, present helmet, doesn't have any uh, mesh in there and the bugs get in and it itches like crazy in there and like you're scratching away so we've got a little bit of mesh there to stop that happening so it's got a reinforced PC shell on it and then a shock absorbent EPS form on the inside there as well which you can see obviously there and on the side there but a nice feature you do go on this is you get the ratchet adjustable strap on the back there so you can see here there's the padding around the inside, which is very nice. Um, some helmets I've had in the past, you don't get much padding with them actually. So this has got a nice bit of padding in there to start with. And then as I say, you do get extra padding as well. Um, official supply to the US ski team. Mm. Um, so you do get extra padding in there as well, which is very nice. So you can obviously get the helmet to suit your head size perfectly. Um, and one of the key features actually on this helmet, if you can see in here, you notice that yellow there, this has got the MIPS system in it. Uh, as you can see here, MIPS. Um, and that stands for, I'll put that wrote down so I better check that. That stands for Multi-Directional Impact System. Uh, Multi-Directional Impact System. Um, developed in Sweden apparently. And what it does is basically this moves, um, the helmet moves separate inside the helmet, I should say, moves separate from the outside. But that just gives you that... Um, extra safety feature in there so you so the helmet can sort of move a tiny bit uh, if you in the event of unfortunate event of an accident uh, so that's a nice little feature so i've got the helmet on there now as you can see and and roughly hopefully you can see with the camera there but if you look through the ventilation slots there you'll see the yellow are moving independently of the helmet now the helmet's not moving on my head it's still secure on my head but the top shell is moving around uh, and that's to give you a that little bit extra security in the event of a crash um, so that it can move very very slightly but your head's still secure um, and it's stop you um, having that torque injury on your head it's to give that little bit of flexibility to the helmet so it can still protect you from different directions so very very clever very very clever system it's very comfortable the helmet mind i've only just put it on for the first time there um, and the strap needs adjusting obviously to my size um, but so far it's very very comfortable and as i see you can remove this visor um, Mountain bike riders tend to like the visor on and road bike riders tend to like it off. So it's your choice, you can remove that. These pads here, which is a nice touch, do come with it. Like I mentioned before, I've took them out of the packet and you do get a whole set of other pads which you can put in um, to make the helmet fit you if it doesn't fit comfortable. I think a little bit difference in thickness, the two different pads, um, which is a nice touch. So you get a whole, use, whole set of pads to go with it, um, which is very, very nice. As I say, I've had helmets where they've had no pads. In fact, um, one of my helmets I got actually took the pads out of the previous helmet to put in that one because there was no pads in it. Um, so yeah, very very comfortable, very nice, very comfortable. Like I say, removable visor. Obviously, the proof on the put when I try it on the bike. I'm not going to be falling off on the bike to try it properly, um, but uh, see how comfortable it is. But at the moment, 
very snug, very comfortable fit. And like I said, that MIP system is very, very clever. You can see it there. Hopefully you can see it there. Uh, you can see the yellow just rotating around there, which is a nice little touch. So let's take it out on the bike and try it out and see what it's like. So we've got the helmet on, as you can see. I'm going to be doing about three hours today on the bike, so it gives a good test. And then the moment, it's very, very comfortable at the moment. It's very comfortable. Um, I always say if you've got something on when you're cycling and you forget it's there, it's doing a good job. And that's what this helmet's like. Um, it's so comfortable that you don't even know you're wearing it. Very snug fit. A lot more comfortable than the other helmet, actually. In fact, it might be the most comfortable helmet I've had so far, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, I think it's a lot more comfortable than the last helmet and the one before. Very nice snug fit, but not too tight. It doesn't feel like it's compressing me head or anything like that. But I don't even know I'm wearing it, put it that way. So, first impressions, very good. Of course, begin of the ride. We'll see what we get on after a few hours, eh? So, I've been out for like three hours, done 32 miles, and this helmet is brilliant. Very, very impressed with it. Very, very comfortable. Hardly, well, don't even know you're wearing it, to be honest with you. Fits nice and snug. The air vents are fantastic. Getting good ventilation in there. And of course, that MIPS system is there, of course, as well. Gives a little bit of security. Well, thankfully, I haven't had to try it out. Um, seeing that, I did have a branch whackers in the head. And the help for that, so that's good. That's good. So snow's just falling off your bike, you gotta watch out for, isn't it? Sometimes this thing's hanging down, and I shan't see in a big branch. Smack his right in the head, so thank you for the helmet for saving us from that. But very impressed, very good helmet, very good quality, light as well, very lightweight. Um, and I can't see anything bad about it. So check out the website, Outdoor Master, the link will be in the description below, and there will be a discount as well. Uh, and they've got lots of other products in there to do as well to check out. Um, and I will be doing a review on a pair of glasses they send us as well. So we'll keep an eye out for that. So as usual, thank you very much for joining us. Take care of yourselves out there and I'll see you all later. See you later. Bye bye.